Greece's largest refugee and migrant camp, Moria Camp on the island of Lesbos. Winter weather on the island has led to plummeting temperatures and the number of rainy days has doubled. Life for the 80,000 refugees and migrants who've made their temporary homes there has become even more miserable. Well, Euronews' Apostos Stikos has been given rare access inside the camp. It was only a sudden rain which lasted for 20 minutes. However, it was more than enough for refugees and migrants who strive to survive in Moria, Lesbos. Many tents flooded, streets were filled with mud. Farista Yusufi from Afghanistan came to Moria four months ago with her husband and their two daughters. The 20-year-old woman argues that life in Moria is unbearable. We live in a tent which is not big enough to protect us all. When it rains, water drips inside and we cannot sleep. Our life is full of problems. We have to wait for hours in line for the doctor. When we go to get food, we waste our time because we have to wait for so many hours. There is no heating or electricity on the hill next to the refugee center. This is why refugees who live there call it the jungle. Some do whatever they can in order to prepare for the winter. Kilara Eskil was an actor in Afghanistan and took part in seven films. He left his home country because of poverty and deadly violence. Now he only wants a better future for his children. Yes, I can. I'd like to work again in the movie industry, but I don't really have a preference or a choice. I need to work in order to feed my two sons. I want them to study, I want to offer them a good life. Getting a job is the most important thing for me. All refugees in Moria ask the same question. When are we going to leave this place? Many seem to have given up the dream of a new life in Europe. Now they only ask to be transferred to the mainland where they hope to find decent living conditions. Apostolos Taikos, Euronews, Lesbos. And joining me live now from Lesbos, just outside the Moria camp, is Euronews' correspondent Apostolos Stikos. Uh, Apostolos, good morning. Good morning, Isabel. You've seen the pictures, you know the situation. We're just outside the camp on a hill, which uh, refugees and migrants call it the jungle. And I'm joined by Mujda Sharif. She's 24 years old from Afghanistan. She came to Moria two months ago. And she is an English teacher. Uh, she, work with an, she works with an NGO here on the island, and she teaches English to uh, little children. Now, uh, Musda, thanks for being with us. And yeah. you said that you came to Moria. Was Moria what you expected from Europe, from Greece, from uh, from Europe? You as a refugee, I mean. Uh, at the first, I have to say, um, uh, at the moment, I expect Greece. Uh, I think it's not included of European countries just because of its behavior with refugees. At the first time when I um, arrived here with my brother, I felt uh, it's like a prison, and for some, like a prison. Yeah, and for some days uh, I just uh, was crying because um, when I saw people passing by my side and. Uh, with a, in a bad look, awful look. Also, when I saw the bus, not welcome. You mean? No, 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 no. We didn't welcome. We didn't welcome. And they, they, yeah, they just gave us a tent, met a equipment of tent, and told us go on the hill and find a place for yourself and live it with your brother. I asked them for uh, living in an iso box, and they told me all of them are full and uh, we have no more space. That's for my you. next question. I mean, it's winter, it's really cold, it's, I mean, uh, we are getting sick, I mean, we are, we are coughing all the time. And the question is, <laughs> is, is it possible for you to get a place in the camp? Have you asked for? Yeah, for I have asked them, I have asked them for um, too many times, for too many, uh, too many times, but they rejected my request and uh, told us, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a space. Also, I found the ISO box by myself and I uh, went to your relief organization and I spoke with them, if possible, you can uh, register our name for this ISO box because I have rheumatism and I can't leave rheumatism. It's a kind of illness. What about here, about this hill, where you live? 
talk to us about about what happens during the night. I mean, we were here looking for you last night, and it was freezing. There is no light, and there is no heating. Yeah, they send us without no electricity, without no heater, without no quilt or blanket, and uh, just uh, some charity groups came here and uh, gave us enough uh, quilt and some material. Okay. Uh, Final question yeah. about the future. Where would you like to go? I would like a few a line about your hopes and dreams. Actually, there is no difference. Um, each country that I find myself comfortable, helpful and peaceful and I can uh, reach to my wishes, dreams and my dreams will come true.